Hello and uh, welcome back to the channel. If you've been following me, you probably now realise that I've got a very old BMW K1100 LT. Now I've had this bike, oh, 26 years. It's uh, coming up to 29 years old now. So very nearly a classic. I was very reluctant to get rid of it, but it was getting to an age where I have to put it into semi-retirement and only take it out on nice sunny Sunday afternoons. So conversation with my wife and um, she very graciously allowed me to buy a second motorbike. Uh, so I've got the R1200 RT and I have to say it's a beautiful bike. I really, really love it. It's almost like the old girl is getting a bit long in the tooth and I'm now having an affair with a newer model and it is just stunning. Anyway, my intention is to service both of these bikes as I've always done, um, but with the newer bike, of course, uh, there is a service interval warning that comes up on the instrument panel after one year or 6,000 kilometers. And if I'm going to service the bike myself, I need the ability to be able to reset that warning. Now, on cars, quite often it's a combination of switches and brake pedals and things like that that allows you to get into the diagnostics and do that uh, service reset. Not on a BMW, unfortunately. Uh, you actually have to connect to the uh, onboard diagnostics connector and go into the menus and reset it that way. Now, how are you going to do that? There seems to be uh, a couple of ways. Uh, you can buy a device called a, a GS911, but that will set you back over £200. The alternative, as far as I can see with the research, is using a software called Motoscan uh, from a German company. And uh, that only works on Android phones. Uh, you can't get it for iOS, you can't get it for Windows laptop, which also means then I have to, had to go out and buy a Bluetooth diagnostic connector which is compatible with that software. So the things you're going to need, a Motoscan uh, software, uh, an Android phone such as this, and you're going to need a Bluetooth adapter, OBD uh, adapter. This one is OBD Link LX. How much does it all cost? Well, the cost of the, we're gonna look at the cost of the uh, Motoscan software in just a moment. But the cost of this uh, Bluetooth adapter, plus potentially a, an adapter cable, is around 95 pounds. Now I mentioned the, the adapter to cable because you'll see that the connector here is oblongy, kind of shaped. Uh, well, on the older bikes, they would be a circular 10 pin connector. On the newer bikes, they tend to be this shape. So you need an adapter cable in order to get this to fit to something that's quite old. Anyway, you can quite often buy these uh, with the adapter cable as well. So getting to the onboard diagnostic connector, where is it on this motorbike? Well, it's actually sitting in behind this panel here. And let's get into it. I'm going to take the panel off and show you. Okay, so there are two Torx uh, 25 screws to take out, one right down here and one here. In fact, the whole bike is covered in Torx uh, screws and they're pretty much standard for all the bodywork stuff. So let's pop them out and then this panel just comes off. What is quite important to note though is that the two screws are slightly different. Uh, hopefully you can see if I just bring them slightly closer to the camera. Uh, but they've got two different shoulder heights on each of the screws, so you mustn't get them mixed up. The one with the large shoulder goes at the top, the one with the small shoulder goes down the bottom. So, panel off. If you have a look just inside here, this is the uh, OBD port. Just unclip, bring it out, there it is, and then pinch and this cover comes off no problem at all get the OBD adapter and just plug it in and I've already got a power light showing up there as well 
Okay, so what I did was I went into the Play Store on this uh, spare Android phone and I dialed in Motorscan and I downloaded the Motorscan Lite version, which is good enough to you to connect to the bike, but you can't really do very much with it. It's not that great. Um, so I had a bit of a problem really, because um, if I just show you the app itself, if you go to the three white lines at the top, you've got purchase and check licensing information, uh, license at the bottom. Uh, if you then click uh, more info buy, uh, you've got all the different versions that you could buy of this app. You've got light, basic and professional, and it also tells you what each of them will be able to do. So uh, looking at the, uh, the professional, you'll see it's the first one that allows you to actually reset the service interval. There is ultimate, but I'm not sure I really need to go that far. So the way I got that particular professional version of this app is I went into Google and I did a search for the motor scan and went into their German uh, website. Uh, first of all, changed it to English. And if you spin down, you'll find all these different versions. And that's the light one, forget that. But you've basically got a download button, which allows you, that's the professional, you can hit download and it will take you over to the, uh, the Google Play Store where you can effectively pay for your purchase and download the professional version. Anyway, that's all good. So how are we going to connect this mobile to that adapter to the bike? Well, the first thing you want to do is to go into um, your settings and make an, the Bluetooth connection between the Android and the OBD uh, adapter. Go into connections, uh, switch on Bluetooth. Um, now there is a little button on the end here, a little green button that you can press uh, in order to start the pairing process. I've paired it before and you can see here uh, I can actually, I'm paired with the OBD Link LX. All good so far. Come out of there. Let's go over to the app itself, uh, Motorscan. This is Motorscan Professional as I said earlier. Uh, let's start with uh, settings, uh, communications, uh, Bluetooth connector. It says here that I've already connected to the device, which is all good. Uh, come back out. Oops, I've gone a bit too far there. Adapter check. I'm getting it to do an adapter check, making sure that it can communicate with the with this uh, adapter. Check capacity for this. It was only checked whether required. Right, I think uh, that's probably all right. Okay, yes, 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 compatible, very good. Coming back out. Now, I want to connect to an R series. It's got all the different bikes on here. Going down, mine's an R1200RT, go to there. The resetting of the um, service interval is done in instrument cluster. So, joining no connection to control unit, why? Why? Because I haven't switched on the ignition. So let's switch on the ignition. There it goes. Let's try again and see whether we can get to this instrument cluster is it going to communicate this time yes it does fantastic service interval reset and uh, this is where you can have a look you can see already that mine is my next service is in 2800 kilometers or 31st of august uh, but essentially you can go in change the mileage you can change the date that you want the next service and then you can simply hit reset and that resets the uh, service interval. So that's all good. Um, obviously there's an awful lot more you can have a, you can see in here. I don't know what else there might be worth looking at, but um, it's worth probably something, some modules are there, other modules aren't. So here we are, I'm gonna go live data, 
Um, if I go play, uh, there you are, it's a 2017 um, uh, model. Sometimes you can also add more parameters. Apparently not on this one. Anyway, you need to have a look through uh, this app and find out what you can do with it. But for now, that's uh, all you need to do to actually uh, reset the service interval. Well, there we are. Um, that's a quick, uh, quick video, really, just to show you how to reset the service interval. Um, the, in time, you will see more videos of me servicing this bike as well, uh, as and when I need it. And as you saw on the next services in August, so maybe it might be a little while yet, unless something goes wrong. Who knows? Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave some comments. Uh, always like uh, to read the comments. Um, I had some really nice comments recently that I enjoyed a uh, good conversation with another fellow motorcyclist as well, probably of a similar age of myself. Anyway, uh, other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Remember, I do a whole variety of different videos. It's not all about bikes or cars. It can be electronics, other stuff like that. Uh, but uh, think about subscribing uh, if, if you'd like to follow what I do. Anyway, lovely seeing you. Bye for now.